little off speed pitch that time, looking breaking ball, got a little tail on the inside, and that is going to be the first, first American National Bank strikeout of the afternoon here for Trent Stringer. For Jones. Pops one high into the Ellisville afternoon, and it's drifting back, and Tanner Poole looking like a wide receiver that time. Everybody from ICC is not used to that bright yellow or orangey thing in the sky. Now there's a nice breaking pitch across for strike three, and that is another first American National Bank strike as he got him looking that time. Three up, three down. Goff trying to get out of the jam here with no damage done. Base is loaded. There's a hard hit. Ground ball past the third base, or excuse me, first baseman. One run will score. Two runs will score, and the Indians have battled back to take a 2-1 lead in the big two-out hit that time for Rowe. Rafael, I'm blaming you. And there's a pitch that nicked the corner for strike three and retrieves the foul ball. 0-2 oh, pitch coming, breaking pitch. And swing and a miss for the fourth First American National Bank strikeout of the game. 1-2 pitch coming. And got him looking. Attaway knew it as he just started walking away. It's conference play. There's a ground ball, shortstop gloves, throws over in the dirt. And Owen... will reach on an error and put that on E6 because the throw was low that time. Well, Rowe is halfway to third by the time the pitch is delivered, so anything hit to the outfield is going to score a couple, and there it is. One run will score. They're going to wave home Rowe, and two runs will score. Needing to come through in a big way here for the sophomore, and he does so, rips one. Out to left field, just what the doctor ordered, brought to you by Dr. Ron Wheeler and Wheeler Family Dentistry. Be a great time to see if we can't get a Tupelo State Farm agent Rich Potter insurance run with Poole scoring from second. This pitch is lifted to the outfield. Center fielder coming in will make the play. Williams is going to score, so that will be a Baptist Student Union sacrifice fly for Braden Owen. There's a dribbler past the third baseman. Clutch hit there for Timothy Rowe and Tanner Poole will score from second. Execute on the batter's end that time. And this time a little excuse me swing and man, that hurts. Well, it don't hurt, he got on base, but getting the out at home. Stringer back home, trying to go the distance here for the Indians. One, two pitch coming, got him looking. Beautiful pitch that time by Stringer on Sasser. 3-2 pitch coming. Dribble back to Stringer. Stringer gets it, tosses it over for the putout. 1-3 if you're scoring at home, and now the Indians. One out away from earning the split here. First pitch, line to the second baseman, and the Indians pick up the split here in game two with a 6-5 to five win and a great homecoming from Trenton Springer, or Stringer, excuse me, and he spiked the glove with a little bit of authority there. As you know, that was a sweet moment for the freshman from Stringer, Mississippi.